There have been several changes in the 2014 National Electrical Code at Sections 21019A1 for branch circuits and 215.2A1 for feeders. The changes are similar in both sections. It's not really a change, but more of a clarification about how to calculate conductor sizes when there are three conditions which affect the opacity of the conductor. There has been confusion about how to select the proper size conductor when a single circuit, one, supplies a continuous load, two, has more than three current carrying conductors in a raceway or cable, or are bundled together without maintaining spacing, and three, the ambient temperature is hotter than 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Most installers know how to select the proper size wire when one of these conditions exist. It wasn't as clear about what to do when a load was continuous and there were more than three current carrying conductors in raceway or the ambient temperature was higher than 86 degrees Fahrenheit. The 2014 NEC says that we compare the size of the wire we get for the continuous load on the one hand with the size of the conductor to allow for more than three current carrying conductors in conduit and an ambient temperature greater than 86 degrees Fahrenheit on the other hand and we select the larger of the two sizes. The clarification is that we compare the size of the conductor we get by calculating a continuous load with the size of a conductor we would get if we adjusted for more than three current carrying conductors in a raceway using table 31015B3A and if the ambient temperature was greater than 86 degrees Fahrenheit using table 31015B2A. Because of the extra heat that can be generated at the terminals where a conductor is terminated, all loads which will be on for more than three hours must be calculated at 125% of the continuous load. For example, a 100 amp continuous load requires a wire that will carry 125 amps. If a raceway or cable has more than three current carrying conductors, the adjustment factors in Table 31015B3A must be used. In 2014, spare conductors must be counted as well as energized conductors. In the conduit shown, we would use the row in the table for four to six conductors, even though three of the conductors are spares. For example, if there are six, number three THWN copper conductors in a raceway, and each conductor is rated for 100 amps, each conductor can carry only 80 amps. 100 amps times 0 0.80 equals 80 amps. When the ambient temperature is hotter than 86 degrees Fahrenheit, table 31015B2A must be used to calculate how much current the conductor can carry. If the temperature in an attic is 110 degrees Fahrenheit, a type NM cable cannot carry its full rated load. The current carrying capacity must be reduced by applying the correction factors in Table 31015B2A. In this case, the NM cable could carry only 87% or 0.87 of the value from Table 31015B16 based on using the 90 degree C column of Table 31015B2A for ampacity adjustment. The main point is that if a single circuit supplies a continuous load, has more than three current carrying conductors, and or is in an ambient temperature hotter than 86 degrees Fahrenheit, we should compare the size of the conductor needed to supply the continuous load with the size of the conductor needed because there are more than three current carrying conductors and or the ambient temperature is hotter than 86 degrees Fahrenheit. And we select the larger of the two conductors we get after making the comparison.